my name is Alyssa, and this week I'm here with a teaching tip. How do we take a simple lunge and change it throughout each level? Um, and let's start at the start. So we're gonna start with a beginner class, like a level 1.0 flow. We're just gonna teach them how to do a scooter and a glider lunge, essentially, without the gliders. So I have my box on short ways up against the shoulder blocks, nice and even. My bar in the normal footwork setting, so right in the middle, and one red spring or medium spring hooked on. And we'll take our right foot close to the edge of the reformer where the springs hook on. My left heel is in line with where that shoulder block would be, just so we don't get any movement from the box. I'm gonna have them place their hands to the foot bar to get themselves situated. Micro bend through that right, and then I want them to stand up tall. I want them to find their position of power and balance from here. Shoulders glide down and back, kind of lifting up. And then we're just gonna squeeze the hips forward. From here, I'm gonna maintain that alignment and just hinge forward. Let, lightly rest my hands on the bar. And then we're just gonna kick that left leg back straight and then bend it in. So micro bend on the right so the knee is nice and protected. And I want them to feel how strong it is to press it back, hold. Come on in. Press it back, squeeze the glute, flex the quad, try and get it really straight, and then release back in, resist the spring. We'll do that a few times, probably six to eight. And then on the eighth one, we're gonna hold. And I really want them to think about lifting up through the core. They can press through their hands a little. Heel is doing most of the work on the ground. We're gonna bend that right knee, send the leg straight back, and then glide it forward just so our leg is straight. Bend the right and straighten. We'll do that another six times, and then we'll hold back. We'll see, can we start to play around with balance and strength? Keep the right arm out, bend the left knee in, and just fight that balance. So you're in the level one. Maybe you have some people that have been here for a while. Can they take both arms out and find that balance? Press back and hold, and then slowly bring the carriage back in. That's a really sufficient way to feel the quad, to feel the glute. They'll be talking to them, right? Let's level this up. So let's go to a 1.5 or more of an intermediate group. I'm gonna put my box exactly where my foot was, and I'm going to take my bar up. So in this class, you might have somebody doing it for the first time, or you might have some professionals. So we're gonna give them a little bit of options, right? We're gonna step up onto the box, and get ourselves used to where we are in space, our proprioception. My foot's gonna to come towards the front of the carriage. My left foot goes on the shoulder block. So it's in the same line as it was. I'm gonna get my positioning where I kind of squeeze the glutes, lengthen out through that upper body, micro bend my right, Hinge forward and hands to the foot bar. That's why we have it up a little bit, right? The first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the leg back straight and bend it in. Now the spring is significantly lighter here, which is great because we don't need them to learn the strength here. We want them to learn a little bit of the balance, right? So we're gonna do a few here. We'll press it back and then you can do your bend and it becomes a little bit more of a triangle pose as they come in where the weight goes over the foot bar and then it shifts back. So you're trying to keep them into some nice straight lines. Now, if this is their first time, they stay here. If not, we'll have them bring the carriage in, come on up, and see if they can maintain that balance here. Same idea, I'm gonna press back and up. And you can do six to eight, and then move into your um, scooter lunges as well. You can add them together, but if that day they don't have enough balance, they can reach forward, grab that foot bar, and keep going with the class without having to stop. Now, we can level this up or down another way as well. So I'm gonna place the foot bar down to the lowest bracket or to the lowest setting, and I'm gonna use my box in front of the foot bar. So I'm gonna switch legs just so my right is not gonna be dying after this. My left heel gets to stay flush on the box. I can actually scooch all the way up to where I'm stepping or pressing into the bar. So my right foot's gonna come back and I'm gonna hug the front of the carriage. Shoulders down and back, we find that position, micro bend in that left. And I'm just gonna try and find that balance here. And I have some feedback for the bar. So I can use it for a little bit of balance, or I can use it to find some depth here. Still straightening through that leg. Pressing in and out. You can do your scooter lunges here as well. And now, for some reason, if I don't have my balance for the day, or this is new to me, I have just a nice little light spot here on the bar. And you can bring it in. You can do that in a 1.5. Maybe you do that in a level two, add some hand weights in. But now our clients are ready to move on to where our foot is on the platform and our heel doesn't have a flush piece of ground to be on. So my heel is kind of 
lifted lightly and the weight is through the ball of my foot. I'm gonna hug the front of the carriage again. And I'm gonna find that now the strength is back. So this is making the string, the spring a little bit heavier to press back. So I'm squeezing that glute, flexing the quad, finding my lunge first, and then I can add in my scooter. You can add in hand weights. You can add in opposition of arms. You can add in some standing movements, and then you can flow right into some side, um, side splits right here. So that flows you into a two. You can make it into a 2.5 or your advanced class, but it's the same exercise with a few different options for you to teach to your students. If you like that, hit subscribe. Catch me next week. There'll be some more.